Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers, where last episode we constructed a repair bay for the damage the, uh, that our military ship took. Uh, now, I have fully completed the repairs on our military escort, and this thing works like a beauty. Apart from the fact that it takes a stupid amount of power to operate, but we don't need to operate it. Uh, we don't need to use it for long. Uh, it has the ability to create a ship, or rather repair a ship, the size of this military escort up to here, right? Which gives us a rough build limit uh, for what we're going to do today. And that is, we're going to build a mining ship. Oh my, a mining ship. Yeah, because I need resources and I'm running desperately low on certain things. For example, I don't have magnesium to build more ammo. I don't have, um, what is it, gold or platinum. It's, 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 it's getting a bit desperate. We do have a supply, I say, hang on. We'll uh, move ourselves over to the screens. Uh, we do have a good supply of materials at the moment, but our, uh, our, our supplies when it comes to ingots is not uh, as good. I did manage to make it so that the system will automatically produce the OKI ammunitions. Uh, and this is because you can go into, you can go into here, you can go into the programmable block. That's not where I want to go in. Tim, yes, hello. Uh, we can hit edit and then we can scroll down to the advanced configuration and then you can see all the categories. We've got ammo magazine, component, gas canister, yada, yada, yada. Um, and you can add additional things to here. So what I did is I added uh, one uh, 50 millimeter ammo and 122 millimeter ammo. And I can do the rest for all the others, but I don't need to at the moment. Um, and the, the name in which you want to use will appear here if you've got it in inventory. Even if it's not in the script, it will appear, which means that you can use the name that you get on the screens to add to the names in the program. You know, good stuff. Anyway, uh, back to what we're doing. Today we're going to be building our lovely uh, mining ship. So, I'm just going to refill my tanks because I don't want to have to keep running about all over the place. For that, we'd need a runabout. Um, yeah. So, first first things first, we're going to set up our um, control group 4 with all the blocks we're going to need for this. First of all, we're going to need a cockpit. We're also going to need uh, some gyros, some thrusters. Uh, we're going to be placing standard ion thrusters and then uh, so that we can get a design working. And then we're going to calculate what thrust we actually need to, at the very least, fly in uh, uh, 0.25g. We're not going to be carrying any cargo in 0.25G because that's going to be mental. That's why we have the cargo carrier. Um, yeah, so thrusters, and then we're also going to need reactors, and we're going to grab this one so that we have access to both. Uh, we're also going to need some drills. And I believe we don't need anything else for minimum uh, viable, not viable, um, Minimal functionality. Oh yeah, we are. We're going to need a connector, but we've got a connector on control too. Right, so first things first. Uh, we're going to need to create a frame for the ship. And we're going to want cargo. Uh, we're going to want a large cargo container. Just one, um, so that we can harvest a lot of resources. But that's going to be the bulk of the ship itself. So I am going to need to grab some interior plate. Interior plate, right. So, here, yes, here is going to be one of the connectors. We're going to have two connectors, one uh, located at the rear and one located at the rear but to the top, which means that it can dock to the uh, cargo container here instead of somewhere else. Uh, I'm also going to put the uh, lasers on the maximum extension they can get to. Uh, just so that we have an uh, idea of where the limit is for our build. Right, so our connector's here, and this can't go further down than the land, uh, than these blocks, right? We're not going further down than here. We are going to change what they look like after we've got um, this thing welded and functional. So it's got a reactor in. Uh, what we are going to need to do, however, is we're going to need to set up the cargo container, which is going to be placed here. We place a large cargo container here. Uh, we should be able to place uh, everything else we need within reach. I, 
I'm going to want to move that along. Yeah. We've got plenty of room uh, to place things. So if we place some conveyor junctions here, this allows us some additional room for oxygen processors, uh, well, ice processors and oxygen tanks, because we're going to we're going to likely need that, and also a medical facility as a respawn point. Uh, and then we're going to want to place our large cargo container. What do we want? Place that before. Place our large cargo container at the back. Allows us to have uh, a sizable amount of thrusters. And then forward from that, we're going to want to have a conveyor line. Or rather, we're going to want some armoring first. Let's get a frame for some armor. Uh, we can have our uh, top cargo container, uh, top connector be located. Where's a good place? Uh, they should be able to pass over this one, right? Yeah, they, the the welders can pass over that. So that's where we're going to have our top connector. This is going to look like one weird ship. So we can move it later. We can adjust. Okay. Get ourselves a line of armor. Uh, place that along. We're going to throw it out to the maximum length of this. Which does give us a sizable uh, amount of space. That's not where I want to be. Okay. So at the front of the ship, which I'm going to place here, we're going to want our drills. Right? We're going to want some drills. This is uh, th this is simply to represent drills, yeah? Um, and then we're going to want to set up a... This is the ground. And then I want to keep... And then I want to... Put some thrusters in, just so that we can keep this thing afloat. Right, we're gonna place one thruster here and here. Of course, we can change this later when we need to. Um, I'll go lower than this block. Uh, well, we can have our thrusters lower, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to place some here, some here, and some on the other sides. Not yet, not there. Right. Uh, we're going to want to place some gyros. And then a small... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to punch in a large reactor. Do we want a large reactor? That's a bit expensive. Okay, we're going to have an array of small reactors. Um, place this here. Grab ourselves probably four reactors. Then we can chuck ourselves a smaller cargo container. Right, that should give us plenty of space. Okay, uh, we're going to light up the uh, construction engine now. Just so that I have something to work with. Right, turning on the lasers and retracting. Now, we shouldn't run out of resources. We do have enough spare. Uh, yeah, stop moving for a sec. Or rather, because uh, it will it will uh, weld the furthest block away from it first, or moving on to the others, which is not the best.
Perhaps instead of doing this, I, ju I should just uh, turn off some of the pistons and slow it down. Maybe. Right. Going. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to add uh, some additional things on. Uh, let's get out of here. Need to add some additional thrusters to the sides so that we don't have drift. Um, let's do that before the death wall comes and kills me. Uh, yeah, that should be That should be enough to counteract drift for now. Let's turn you guys back. You missed a spot. <laughs> right. It's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be likely that we don't want the ship this long. So we're going to cut out some of it. But I want to make the... I want to round out the chassis first, and I want it so that we're connected to the base rather than, um, uh, so that we're connected via the connector instead of, um, via a block. Okay, right, that's everything. Uh, power off and proceed normally. I'm going to grab some uranium. Throw some uranium in here. We're then also going to need to rename the uh, connector. Right. Okay, so all the reactors are online. Uh, I'm going to want to... Oh yeah, I forgot. I need, a, I need a cockpit. So that I can actually control this thing. Uh, grab ourselves some materials. Whoop. Uh, place it down. Yeah, for now. No. Yeah. I have the components. This cargo key, uh, because this cargo container isn't connected to the system, obviously. Can't draw ten bulletproof glass. Well, I'm sure we can do without ten of them. Okay. Uh, so now that we're in. Um, we should be fine. Okay, we, we should be perfectly fine. We don't have any upward, but I think that's also fine. Okay, we're disconnecting. Right, that should allow us to move, yeah? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's because the connectors are still... Um, right. What exactly do I need? Maybe we just need to weld down the connector? Uh, I'm gonna put some supplies back first and then we can do whatever stupid idea I've got. Uh, we need to disconnect the ship. And you're now a static grid, convert to ship. Okay, uh, now I need to move you forward and then backwards so that we can uh, reconnect with the base. Uh, yeah, I do have the thing where stations that become disconnected uh, to a voxel should turn into ships automatically, but they're not. Which is annoying me ever so slightly. 
Uh, right, you are Tim Doc enabled. Okay, we now have a working ship. Uh, it can move around and it can mine. It is nowhere near the functionality that we need, so we're going to be working on that. Uh, right, you are on and off. Our switch lock. Good. Move back. Connect. Thank you. Uh, now, we shouldn't be throwing supplies around because of Tim, because we are uh, not compatible in docking. That's fine. Right, we can get rid of the cockpit for now. I'm going to use the supplies for our advantage. I would also like it uh, for the game to stop uh, juttering about the place, but I suppose that's mine. Uh, that's less than zero. How did you get less than zero steel plate? What kind of sorcery is this? Okay, so we're going to base off our uh, base our design around this cargo container and central section. Yeah. But if we do that, we can't weld the bottom. Okay, I'm going to draft some designs, and we'll be back in a second once I find something that I like. Okay, we are back. And uh, I've, I've done some iterations on the design, and I've managed to get one that works. So I figured out a rough step-by-step -step process on how to build this thing, uh, but I want to do some final adjustments to the build itself, which is why I'm rebuilding it from scratch. Um, because, of course, we can use the... Uh, the repair bay to dismantle ships as well, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, so what we're doing is we're going to build the first part of our mining ship. This uh, basically determines the length and also makes sure that the reactors are in place and the cargo containers in place, because they are somewhat necessary. Um, now what we have here is we have one of the hull platings, and we're going to have four hull platings, one on each side, um, and in them are going to be uh, ion thrusters uh, there's going to be no interior of this ship. Uh, it needs none. Uh, so we're just going to finish welding all of this up. I've put the welders on two times uh, welding speed, uh, just so that they can get things done a bit faster, so I don't have to wobble about all over the place. Um, but we should be good to go as soon as this is done. I will uh, throw in the next uh, assortment of um, additions. Okay, so now we're welding up the uh, engine section, or rather the uh, rear engines and some of the uh, side thrusters for the bottom. Uh, now this is quite a lot of thruster components we're pouring into this. Should have enough to build all of the thrusters, according to my not so uh, precise calculations. Uh, so what we've got is we've got eight ion engines facing backwards. Uh, we've got another, hang on, another connector up top, which allows us to connect to the cargo uh, hauler. And then what we've also got is we've got some ion thrusters facing downwards here, and some ion, th ion thrusters facing sideways, just to give us some uh, some amount of uh, control. Um, it's relatively simple, uh, not too complex. That's what I said. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's uh, that's part two of construction. Okay, uh, phase three uh, of this construction uh, wave, I guess. Uh, we're going to be building the front thrusters, or at least uh, some of them. We've got to build the sides and the top at some point. Uh, and we're also building the second set of... Uh, drills, which will be another ring around. Uh, we're also having thrusters inbuilt to the drill position so that we can have uh, additional thrusters. Uh, we should be able to mine properly with it. And then we're also starting to construct the different sides. Now, this uh, right area in which we're not building anything in comparison to the left, uh, we're going to be constructing the cockpit in. So we don't want to build in there just yet. Um, we're going to be building the cockpit after we've got most of the other ship, uh, most of the rest of the ship completed. Um, but 
Uh, keep in mind that we do also have to build uh, a few other things as well. We need to install some gyros and there are some uh, good pockets here that we can use to place some gyros. So we're going to do that. Okay, the next stage of construction uh, includes the next layer of blocks. It also includes adding the gyroscopes into these aforementioned pockets and also an ore detector in here and also filling in some more of the uh, ion thrusters that we didn't produce uh, in the past because I've got to do so. Um, we're obviously leaving this place open uh, for what I want to use it for. Uh, yeah, it's relatively simple. I need to back over these. Obviously not going fast enough. We are using uh, double the welding speed here, just to make it so that we can do this within a certain amount of time. Uh, and of course we're building the, well, the other thrusters that we need for the up direction, which means that we technically have the ability to now fly this thing. Uh, it does have reactors, it does have gyros, it does have thrusters. Um, but we are going to want to add some more lateral thrusters in the left and right direction um, and also additional ones on the front when we get to that altitude or rather when we get to that height on the construction itself. Okay with the next stage of production we are adding uh, more of our drills uh, and also adding the next layer of armor, which includes some additional thrusters, uh, which brings our total of thrusters in the up, down, left, and right um, directions to six um, on each axis, which is a, a balanced number. We can, of course, change out these thrusters for more powerful ones later. Uh, in addition, we have a conveyor block for the last layer of drills, and also we're adding some batteries. Um, so that it can produce, well, provide additional power for when we require it. It means that if we run out of uranium, it means that it's not the end of the world. Not instantly, but you get the point. Uh, we are also kind of out of thruster components, which is not particularly good because uh, I am going to need more. So we might have to salvage some from uh, some enemy ships nearby. Not that there are any. Um... But, you know, we can deal with that. We can we can finish the rest of uh, construction and then build the rest of the thrusters later. Okay, and then we have our, la uh, our last stage of construction. We are adding the final uh, layer of armor. Um, and we are also adding, because uh, I've got earlier, inside here is an oxygen generator connected to the conveyor network uh, so that we can refill our oxygen whilst in space. And then we also have, in this area, our control station, which is open to the elements, but that's acceptable. This is a mining rig, after all. Uh, a cargo container and a uh, survival kit, which will allow us to create resources. Uh, now, hang on. Go back. You should be building that. Interesting. Um... Give me one second, I need to go into the option. Hello, Repair Bay, I want you to multi. Right, which means that you should split your welding across everything available, yeah? Right. Okay, uh, so as you can see, we are building the uh, the, the last layers. Um, and the ship is effectively good to go. The only problem is, uh, well, first of all, we need to give it some uranium. Um, but after that, all we need to do is set up the uh, commands um, and the controls. We do have enough thrusters for maneuverability. And I am going to want to go grab some platinum because I think we should be able to. Um, we have all of our thrusters that are facing downwards, and I have done some testing, it does fly. To what extent, we will find out soon. Uh, right, so let's uh, disable the uh, drill, send it backward. Uh, not drill. That's not a drill. Um, disable the laser array, we're going to send it backwards, going to grab ourselves some uranium from our supplies. Uh, we're going to drop off our resources, refill our tanks.
grab some bottles. Uh, one thing that we might want to add. Uh, so we have an ox uh, we have a ore detector. Um, I'm gonna want to throw down a beacon. Let's clear this up, shall we? Uh, we're gonna want to get a, gr a beacon so that we can see where this thing is, and also we want a remote control because I find that remote controls are really useful. Really? Ah, no, no, you are different. You're, you're doing a different thing. I want a beacon, please. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to be placing uh, one of uh, the beacon here. Uh, and it is going to take a while because, well, I don't know, radio communication components are a pain to build. No, we have a laser array for that. Yeah, we do. A bit like that. Turn the other way, turn on. Turn off uh, just so that I can quickly build the remote control. We're going to have our remote control. Mm, where do we want it? We want it somewhere that actually makes it look alright. Um, actually, it doesn't particularly matter, does it? Does it? Will it? Who knows? Uh, we can have it here. No, no. Have it somewhere on the front. Or have it somewhere inside. I mean, you've got plenty of uh, of uh, empty space inside you can use. I don't know, just place it. Right. Uh, so the main reason we want a remote control is so that I can autopilot. Uh, because I'm really bad at autopiloting. Uh, well, I'm really bad at flying. Unless uh, there's an autopilot to help me. Uh, right, let's go grab a interior plate. Actually, I can build it myself. Yeah, build it yourself, you lazy bugger. Oh, of course, you're still trying to build this. Let's not build that. Such a shambles. Right, remote control. Yes, this thing. You gotta place it down here, hold it up. Um, we don't have an antenna, which means it can't be remotely controlled, but we can still enable the autopilot, and then I need to go re-grab the uh, uranium. I'm a fool. Um, need that much. Yeah, so we're going to grab 10 uranium each. Nectar. And then it will get filtered into all of the reactors at 0.25 kilograms, uh, at 250 grams at a time for some reason. Uh, we have our... Sorry, we'll get... Sorry, that looked weird. That looked like it was a different kind of geometry altogether. Yeah, so we have our survival kit, and when an oxygen generator, uh, when our oxygen generator has ice, we can gain uh, oxygen and hydrogen from here, and also throw in our bottles. And we also have cargo container, which I'm going to make. Uh, I'll go exempt, uh, and then we need. Well, actually, so we're gonna jump in, and then, well, technically, technically we should be fine, right? Retract the claw, and now is the moment of truth. We have power. We have thrusters. Now we're gonna see if we break anything by breaking things. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now, if we get in here. It is no longer part of the base and is considered a different grid, right? We're then going to change this to... Uh, not a hauler, not a transport. Well, it's a ship, isn't it? Mining ship, okay. Uh, and then we've also got all of our stuff here. Uh, let's go... Go through everything in order, grab all the thrusters, uh, stop them from showing in the terminal. Uh, we've got our batteries, uh, we can hide that. No, we can't. Actually, it's going to be better if we keep them visible for now. So, selecting them all won't show us the information. Uh, we've got our beacon, and we want the HUD text uh, to say mining ship. We should be able to see that, yeah? 
yeah, we can see uh, our beacons active, which is lovely. Uh, we've then got all the drills at those two group. Uh, we've got all the gyros at that. Do the group. Uh, we got ourselves the connectors, we got ourselves some reactors. Terminal. Uh, we've got a O2 generator, we've got a large cargo container which we're going to change to cargo main. Uh, we're going to have a control station. Uh, we're going to have some connectors. I need to rename. Cargo exempt, which can be off in terminal, so it can be regular cargo. What else do we have? Control missions, O2 generator. Or detector. Yeah, all of these should be fine. We can get rid of the batteries. We don't need the batteries. Okay, uh, we've now set up everything in here, which means that I can just click a button and then we're in a ship, right? And hey presto, we are in a flying machine. Somehow I'm damaging something. Right, uh, so we should be able to go up down, left, and right. Now, we don't have all of our thrusters active, um, but we should be able to fly pretty easily. Um, what I want to do now... Ah, yes, hang on. I'm gonna grab our connectors. Uh, set them up properly. I'm gonna name them separately at some point, uh, but not at the moment. Uh, and then we're going to want to create a group of connectors. I oh, hear spell connectors, Jake. Connect. Brr, yes. Uh, off in terminal, enter here, go and grab our connectors. I want them on and off, and then a lock. Um, I'm going to want one for reactors. No. No, batteries, 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 batteries. Which is why I'm which is why you make the group for batteries, you fool. Batteries. And then we can set up the batteries, which will be on seven and eight, which is uh We want seven the enable auto. And then the other one is recharge, which means that we can activate eight, which means we'll just be recharging. And then we can activate seven and it'll be automatic. We don't particularly need any other kind. Um, and then we also want to put our drills. Uh, we want the drills group on first and then the drills block tool. Yeah, apparently we have a laser mining tool, uh, multi tool available to us, but we don't. It's lying. Now the gyros are a bit nippy, uh, so we're going to decrease the size of that to 70. That's not how that works. We will, of course, need to uh, fine-tune some, uh, fine some things. Uh, but lastly, we can go into our, uh, our remote control. Uh, hang on, I'm going to get above the shield first. That might be a good idea. Yep, this is a mining ship. Good. We're here. Okay. We have the remote control. Yes. We're going to set it to the waypoint. Uh, which one is it? Uh, gold, iron, silicon. Really make a rendezvous point. Might be a good idea. None. Flight. Way. Speed limit 100. I need to find a mod to fix that, and then we want to send us to uh, the asteroid gold iron silicon. At that, do the waypoint and collision avoidance on, precision mode on, autopilot. Why does it not look like we're using any thrusters? I have no idea. 
Uh, right, we want the uh, remote control on here. We want that on nine, and we want that. Oh, oh, right, turn, turn this off. We know that it works. Yes. No, we know that it works. We know that the autopilot works. So we're gonna slow this down. We're going to then go grab our cargo ship and then also autopilot to the same location uh, with objective winds on, obviously. Um, maybe not precision mode. Well, it, really, it really depends how close it is. Uh, right, so let's get inside our freighter. Uh, since the mining ship is going to be spending most of its time out in orbit, it should be fine. Okay. Side. Uh, do we have a remote control? We do, don't we? Why do we have two? No, we have one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we are unlocking. We are going to rendezvous with our ship. Rather, we're going to configure the autopilot. Actually, let's have a go. Uh, let's do the good thing, shall we? Double check where this asteroid is. Right, it is within a uh, hundred meters of an asteroid. Okay. Uh, well, this sounds like a stupid idea, which I'm all for. Um, I mean, of course, we can connect up to the uh, other ship. And we should be able to uh, do this properly. Now we're going to get in the uh, ship that can actually move properly. Right, yes. Uh, apparently your beacon isn't working. But you're on. It means you should be broadcasting. I get out and it's not broadcast. It shouldn't need an antenna. Okay, we might have to install an antenna. That's an acceptable loss. Get ourselves somewhat unmanned. We're going to need to face backwards, by the way. Reminder, we are still within a gravity well. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Right, let's uh, ever so slowly get ourselves into... Don't press X, that's a bad I can't remember exactly what it does on a ship, but it's a bad idea. Okay, we are now locked. And now we are on the whims of Clang and Fate uh, to see that this doesn't destroy itself as we move on. Um, I shouldn't need to destroy the... Uh, I shouldn't need to disable the inertia dampers. I do. Of course I do. Uh, flight seat. No, control station. Yeah, disable the inertia dampers, please. Keep. Okay, we are now realigning. Uh, 
as we go off into space towing this mining ship. Now, we should have to tow the mining ship anywhere um, because we can just move the mining ship when we're near the freighter. Well, actually, no. We'll only need to tow the mining ship if we're uh, moving from asteroid to asteroid. But at some point, we can uh, just set up a base in space, have a teleporter that goes up to it, and the mining ship can be docked there and go on mining runs to that station. Then we can use the freighter to transport goods from, uh, from the station to the surface. Okay, so we are about to arrive at one of the asteroids that I've located. Um, one containing both platinum and iron, because I need platinum to finish building the ship. And also build some additional stuff that I want to work on. Uh, now we still are to the whim of the remote control. Uh, I need to locate the one on my ship, which I don't have. Lovely. Now it should be graceful upon entry uh, so that it will just do uh, will just stop itself at the uh, GPS location and would you look at that it's magnificent right we are no longer controlled by an autopilot system hooray it means that we can go and do the things uh, I'm going the wrong way I have forgotten how to navigate this ship it's a relatively simple ship. I don't understand why I would fail. Right. Let's go get ourselves into the mining ship. Yeah, uh, I am going to need to quickly turn on the gyros and dampeners. And then we're going to disable someone else using the ship. Well, who? Roll? No. Who else could be using the ship? Because autopilot's not there. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so for some reason... What is going on here? Right. Yes, you're fine. You're fine. Disconnect. Down. Right. First of all, let's turn down these gyros, shall we? Yes, 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 point four. Okay. Now, whatever happened, uh, which I have no idea uh, what happened, uh, we're just going to ignore it. Okay. Um, it might be because all the connectors are um, on a on the same group when they're connected to the same ship. Weird, it shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I have to set them up for separate connectors. Anyway, uh, we now have the ability to do some mining. So we're going to go over to this platinum reserve here and we're going to go mine it. And we're going to see how long it takes for us to uh, completely devour it. I 
told you to turn this on, couldn't I? Give us a tiny bit of momentum, and then we should be able to mine out part of this platinum uh, vein. Uh, we can go into our cargo and see that we are mining a decent amount of platinum. We are, however, ignoring a lot of the stone. Oh, that's because they're in the other cargo container for some reason. Right, let's uh, dislodge ourselves from this mess that we've created uh, and double check how much platinum we managed to achieve. Uh, so it's a, it's a sizable amount of platinum that we managed to obtain for everything on there. Uh, is, there a way to, is there a way for me to disable this cargo from getting anything? Maybe. Who knows? Right. Now, if we have a look at our cargo container, we can see that we're 41,000 out of 421,000. We can carry a lot of uh, a lot of ore in this thing. Uh, now, we can't exactly have a automated mining ship because that doesn't exist within vanilla terms. It might exist in certain scripts, but um, that would require me building a much better mining ship for them to use. Okay, so we have uh, plenty of material at the moment, so we're going to dock our mining ship with the uh, Rust Freighter, uh, drop off some uh, some of our platinum, and then send the Rust Freighter on its way um, whilst we get the rest of... well, uh, whilst we continue mining, and then I can, um, I can move over and decant uh, our rewards from the Rust Freighter to whatever we want. Uh, now it's going to be much easier uh, to fill up the cargo container if we're if we're mining iron or ice, um, simply because that's the best way to do it. I also need to mine a, a, effectively a ton of ice in order to deal with the fact that my shield went down last episode, and that meant uh, that meant that all of our lovely oxygen escaped the shield. Connect to aft. Oh, right. Uh, just so that we uh, don't do anything stupid this time, we're going to instead have... Uh, no, not... Yes, you. We're going to connect us on and off on the main, and then we're going to have a switch lock for aft, and a switch lock for top. I just need to remember which one's which. Um, yeah, so let's uh, move into a docking pattern with the ship. Now, I could easily invalidate this entire mining ship in a couple of episodes by building a nanite-based mining facility. I might just do that. Um, 
or use the uh, laser multi-tool to make a miner instead or what have you. But that's probably going to be uh, a smaller vessel for precise uh, instrumentation. Right, let's uh, decant or rather lock and then we want to transfer all of our cargo over. Uh, this ship only. Uh, don't hide empty. Uh, yeah, so we're going to move everything into this large cargo container. It's a significant amount of stuff. There we go. And with that done, we can disconnect. That's the wrong button. Disconnect. And now someone else is using the ship. Okay, this may be slightly weird to deal with. But don't worry, I believe uh, we'll be able to do this properly at some point. Uh, just going to leave this parked here and we're going to head back on the rust freighter. I will continue my mining operations outside of episode. Uh, right, so now that we've got the ability to mine again, and more importantly mine in space instead of on planet, Uh, yeah, so now that we have the ability to do all of that, our next task is to figure out what we're going to do now. Uh, why are you still firing upwards? Why are you the only thrusters that fire upwards? Did you not have other thrusters that fire upwards? Are you the only thrusters? Yeah, you are. Okay, that's a design flaw. I need to deal with that. Uh, we need to figure out what we want to do next. Uh, so a couple of things that we could do is we could um, build a nanite factory, which would basically invalidate the past two episodes. Um, so I'm not exactly keen to do that. Uh, we could build a smaller mining vessel that we can use to excavate the um, base so that we can build it out properly, uh, get rid of the stone that's inside the crater, um, which is uh, something that we can do very easily. Add. That is not the way to the base. Okay. Um, what we could also do, and let's uh, move ourselves over to base whilst we're flying. Uh, what we could also do is we could start producing a larger um, military ship. Um, so one that would be utilizing uh, this entire base worth of size. Uh, I did some I did some uh, comparisons. The the space station in which I built on the first series, the Scarab, um, is the length of this base. Well, smaller than the length of this base, but still the length of this base itself. Uh, the rover, which was from the previous. Uh, series, the long, uh, the previous multiplayer series, uh, is about as long as this section. So we do have the ability to build a capital shipyard here, if we so desired. And I desire to do so, so we're going to do it. Um, and since we've got all of the walls built now, it's just a matter of getting the scaffolding in so that we can start producing our own capital ship. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna think of a couple of designs. We're gonna nick some from well, we're not gonna nick any designs. We're gonna nick pieces of design from other places, um, and then we're gonna assemble a a, a capital ship, a, a a mobile base that's not gonna be as powerful as this base because this is ground based and doesn't need thrusters to move around. Um, but we're also gonna uh, equip it with a jump uh, drive and all sorts of other goodies. But until then. Uh, let's return to this. Uh, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission. <laughs>